hello everyone welcome back again to my channel and today i'm i'm going to tell you about a normal distribution curve and binomial distribution and how to get the data uh, in matlab so uh, let's begin i will show you uh, one assignment uh, which we are going to solve in matlab and then uh, you can just run that code uh, currently i do not have uh, matlab in my pc but you can run this code uh, you will get the answers i'm talking about okay so the first task is binomial distribution and binomial distribution the question one is a coin is tossed 20 times find the probability of getting exactly six heads so, so first thing you need to uh, understand that right now it's it's demand of the question is that you need exact six hands heads which is a very very low probability uh, case that you toss a coin 20 times and you are getting six heads or 14 tails so this is the case right now so for so for, uh, for uh, binomial distribution in matlab the command you use is bino pdf this is the command you use in matlab for binomial distribution for exact number so uh, first uh, thing the first uh, thing first value you are going to give in this function is 6 because the number of trials is 6 total number of trials is 20 and what is 0 0.5 this is something uh, very uh, important to tell you guys that 0 0.5 is actually a probability of one case for example you just toss a coin and you will get head or tail the probability is 0 0.5 for each so 0 0.5 is that thing so when you will run this command bino pdf 620 0.5 you will get the answer you can verify your answer from the online tool uh, from that online tool of star track star tra star track online calculator binomial this is really a good tool and you can just press right here uh, probability of success on a single trial which is 0 0.0.5 and then total number of trials you have 20 and number of success 6 so uh, we are right currently finding x equals to x which is exact number of 6 we, are, we want in 20 trials so the answer will get is 0 0.0369 in matlab so this is how you're gonna do so uh, moving on to the second question second question is a coin is tossed 20 times and find the probability of getting less than 11 heads so uh, this is quite something uh, very usual so you will get a uh, you just think you, you should get a very high probability for this thing because you can actually get less than 11 heads or 8 9 this will be uh, you will figure when you toss the coin t uh, coin 20 times so for the uh, uh, matlab code for this command is bino cd f 11 20 0.5 this thing this thing is for the uh, uh, for uh, getting less than 11 right this thing is for getting less than 11 you need to minus this thing this is for the equal to 11 so you need to minus this for uh, clearing that equal thing right if 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 the question was find the probability of getting less than an equal to 11 heads then you would would have uh, just added that thing but uh, currently you need to minus that thing because you need to uh, need to uh, you want uh, the probability of getting less than 11 heads and similarly the next question is a coin is tossed 20 times find the probability of getting at least seven heads so now the command is at least means the upper thing is seven and then after that seven you can get eight nine ten or anything so you you will use something additional in the command bino cdf 7 20 0 0.5 7 is the number of trials 20 is total number of trials 0 0.5 is the probability upper you will fix that you want at least 7 right and then uh, this thing will give you the greater than uh, 7 and plus bino pdf this will cover that equal to thing that also 7 is included also 7 is included in that probability thing so you need to add that thing uh, uh, the fourth question is actually find the mean and standard deviation of for this binomial distribution to make uh, make binomial distribution uh, from uh, from the number of trials and from the probability of one trial you just put that command bino stat 20.05 m is for mean v for variance and then you will get the mean and variance for the for this binomial distribution similarly now we'll get to the normal distribution and normal distribution currently uh, this question 5 is calculate the probability of standard normal uh, distribution which says that uh, p is 0 minus 0 0.3 z 0 0.24 so if 
uh, that z value is in between 0.24 and minus 0.3 what will the probability first we'll we'll check that thing into online calculator a great tool uh, online statbook.com you can uh, use normal distribution from that if mean and standard deviation are not given so you will uh, uh, take the standard and 0 1 which is standard for standard normal uh, curve so you will select the between option and then you will put minus 0 0.3 here and 0 0.24 here so this is your case and the probability of this area is 0 0.2127 so how will you put that thing in MATLAB you will just just uh, use the norm CDF command normal cumulative uh, density function then you will give the uh, interval you have minus 0 0.3 0 0.24 then you will put mean 0 and standard deviation 1 so this thing will give you the uh, pro probability and then you will put that command uh, by the variable 2 minus 1 means the second value probability minus first value probability you will get that interval probability which was 0 0.2127 the second question is second question is a normal population with this now mean is specified standard deviation is specified so your uh, uh, your uh, normal curve will be adjusted towards left or right whatever the uh, cases uh, like your mean is 31 standard deviation is 8 what is the probability that population is less than 28 so for less than 28 population you will simply run that command norm cdf 28 is your uh, your uh, by default probability function matlab is for less than things so you will put 28 here 31 for mean 8 for variance then you have the third question uh, also you can verify this online by using this tool now you'll like uh, do for below you will put mean 31 standard deviation 8 and uh, what was that thing a 28 below 28 calculate 0 0.3538 is the probability that your answer will less than 28 uh, next question is normal population for 27 and 33 in between and greater than 36 for greater than 36 as i already told you the uh, default function is for less than so you need to uh, minus the function from 1 for the greater than things right default I, I will write here default norm CDF is for less than for greater than you need to minus by 1 right so you will get this function write that uh, the third question was in between 27 and 33 and mu uh, like mean was 31 8 and you will just minus the second value from one value from the first value like p of 2 p of 1 and you will get that answer so i hope you like the video about normal and binomial distribution in matlab you will just put that code uh, in the matlab and you will run if you have any questions or you want uh, any um, uh, uh, queries if you have any queries about binomial and normal distribution and how to solve that in matlab kindly do let me know and subscribe my channel thank you so much